Afternoon folks, it's the first trip to the Yorkshire Dales of 2024 so I'm just approaching the middle of March it's uh, I don't know a typical wintry March day really it's very grey a few fleeting breaks in the cloud I've got an easterly wind on my face um, and the objective for today if all goes according to plan I'm going to do my last of the Dales 30. I'm doing Darnbrook Fell uh, with a view to camping on Fountains Fell. Now the wind is supposed to get up to 50 mile an hour plus tonight, the gusts. So it's vital that I find some sort of sheltering wall. So it's time to leave this good path now, it's a, it's a track that heads over into Littendale. I've got to go straight up now and I'm going to follow this wall right to the top of Downbrook Fell. Before we do though, look at these like tube structures in here, it's uh, fossil coral in this uh, piece of limestone. Not too far from the top now, I don't think. Gordon Bennett, I can tell that I've had sort of a lazy winter. It's, it's not a major climb this, a bit of a boggy slog, but I'm having to rest a lot. It's a bit chilly. Right, I've just done me 30 of 30, uh, Dale's 30, all complete, Downbrook fell, done and dusted. How do I feel? <laughs> uh, um, uh, no, I've, I've got to say, no, I'm not, not that fussy, really, but no, I'm slightly more happy than I thought. I'm, I'm not a peak bag, I've, I've, I've said that many times, even though I bag peaks. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased I've done it. It's taken me. Oh, when did I do my first one? 1988, what's that? 34 year? It's taken me a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I've been watching some people on YouTube do it, do it in one summer. So, how should I celebrate this monumentous occasion? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it the tried and tested, old fashioned, traditional Lancashire way. I'm going to do it with an hard boiled egg. <laughs> So straight ahead, I've just shown you there, that's Fountains Fell, that's my next objective. I've just got to follow this wall, which pretty much takes me to the top. Um, like I think I mentioned earlier, I've got to just weigh up how the network of walls works on here so I can find the best camp spot for shelter. I don't know what it is from, from here to the, I don't know, a mile and a half-ish maybe, something like that. It's not too far, I don't think there's much climbing involved. Whether you saw that down there, just flush a ring goozle. It was on the path ahead of me, it just kept flying low. That's early. First uh, first migrant that it's yeah, early March, early, early to mid-March, that's early for ring goozle. Be nice if I could find a pitch near that plantation, I bet it's good for long geared owls around there, but it's very exposed hereabouts. I've just descended to this uh, plantation. It is a bit sheltered down here, but it's very umaki.
Well, I'm going to pitch here, um, I don't know, about 300 yards from the summit. Nice wall. There's a little hut here on Fountain Spell, it's quite well known. Um, I think they reckon, I should have read somewhere, that it were like an explosive store for the old mines up here. It's a little bit early to pitch the tent, so I've just nipped up to the top, uh, took the wind speed, got Gus a minus, uh, not Gus a minus, what am I on about? Uh, 32 mile an hour. Um, wind speed, uh, what else have I got? Oh, wind chill of uh, minus 8.1 and temperature of 0.9, so yes, it's a bit chilly. This wind's supposed to get up later, it said, but I've got a nice wall for shelter here. The tent's ready, I'm just waiting a little bit longer. I can never get these bleeding stands on. Can't do it. Proper annoying, but now we can't get it on. Hey, I've done it. Bloody hell. Right, all sorted. Trying to be a bit, a bit neater today over there. Right, well, I mean, I'm, I'm zipped up and comfortable. I'm just warming up now. It's chilly out there uh, in, in that wind. I'm just going to do a little bit more organising. I'm going to make myself a warm drink. I've not had one since uh, since I left the house this morning. Um, and then I'll probably have a little nip and adventure outside just to, I don't know, just have a nosy around my surroundings. Right, well, it's about ten past six now, sunset about ten minutes ago. I've just been up to the top again, trying to get a reception, let the missus know I'm okay. It's bloody freezing, it's a bitter east wind, and the wind's got up from earlier on, like it said it would. I'm, I'm fine where I am here, although the tent is quite flappy. I wonder if it's changed direction a little bit, the wind. It's not quite as sheltered as it was earlier, but I'll, I'll be right for tonight. Right, I'm, I'm going to dive in tent now, that, that's me done for tonight, I'm going to get warm and uh, start relaxing. This wind's really got up and this wall's not not offering me as much shelter, shelter as I'd hoped. I wonder if I've uh, slightly miscalculated the wind direction. Yeah, the tent's flapping a, a fair bit. It was touch and go whether I uh, came out today, uh, start of the week work were lovely. And I was looking at the forecast, and same old thing is checking every day. And it just seems to steadily <laughs> get worse. Um, there, were, there were no issue with precipitation, no rain forecast for today, but the winds were like getting higher and higher every time I checked. And I, I, I always start getting ready a couple of days before, so I start packing my bag Friday today, sort of Wednesday night. Uh, and it, it gives me time to like make sure I've forgot everything that because I'm, I'm so gormless. If I did it last minute, it'd just be a recipe for disaster. Um, 
so yeah, so got the bag packed and that. Got up this morning and, and it was it was windy back home. Anyway, when ice and comfy, I had a big plate of toast and marmalade, a nice cup of tea, and I looked out of the window and all the trees were swaying about. And then I, I have to uh, give a shout out to Dave Gaines, really. I I just put YouTube on, see if there are any videos on, and, and Dave had a video out. So I watched Dave's video, and that, I think, gave me the, the impetus, the, the kick up the backside to, to come out today. And, and I'm glad I have, really. It was... Um, uh, yeah, it were, it were nice. I don't know. It's, it, well, nice. It was like a big bog trot, basically. But I quite enjoyed Downbrook fairly. I had a bit more about it than I was expecting. I was expecting something a bit like Jochenthwaite Moor, I think. And I quite enjoyed the walk across here. It were, it were boggy and stuff, but it, it, no, it was pretty interesting. And I saw that ring goozle, which really, re really made me do that. Um, but yeah, I'm... Um, it's a, bit, it's a bit windy tonight. I'm probably not going to get a good night's sleep or anything, but no, I've, uh, I've enjoyed today more than I thought I were going to do. I thought it was just going to be quite a functional day. Just dash up down Brook Fell, keep up here, go home and not massively enjoy myself. But no, it's def definitely been better than I thought today. I'm quite, quite pleased how today's panned out. Ruby Mary tonight. I keep saying I'm stopping buying these, but I keep doing it. Today's book of the camp is uh, Journeys of the Soul, Vernacular Funeral Routes in Upper Calderdale. <laughs> this is very me, this book. Um, the, the thing that attracted me to it with this stone on front, I can't remember I saw this, I saw it recently on the internet, this, this book. And this stone on front, I've walked past it so many times, it's in Crag Vale. And I, even though it's got like carvings on it, I've, I've not given it much thought. Um, if I'm honest, which is not like me. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a coffin stone. It's a stone where coffins were rested on the way to consecrated ground. So I go that way a lot. I walk past that stone quite a bit. So I'll be paying it closer attention next time I'm in Crag Vale. It's a complete coincidence that I've um, done my final Dales 30 on Downbrook Fell because... Um, the very first Dales 30 I did is where I am now, Fountains Fell. In fact, Fountains Fell was my first ever 2,000 footer. Um, and it was me, Lee and Jeremy in Easter 1988. I think I said earlier that it's, it started 34 years ago. I, I did the maths wrong. It was 36 years ago, wasn't it? 1988. Um, me, Lee and Jeremy were like our first first adventure away, away from home really first sort of walking holiday and what we did we caught a train well a series of trains uh, from Milner to get to Gargrave on the Pennine Way and what were quite memorable about that the train between Leeds and Gargrave was the only time I've ever been on a corridor train in Britain must be one of the last corridor trains, you know, like some off a of James Bond. I expected Jaws or something, one at, one at compartments. Um, it, it was great, that train. I'll, I'll, I'll never forget that. Anyway, we got off the train at Gargrave, and our plan was to use the Pennine Way to get to Orton in Ribblesdale. Um, and then along the rest of the trip, make sure we did Pen, Penny Gent, Wernside, and Ingleborough. And what we ended up doing, we walked from Gargrave up the Pennine Way. Uh, first night's camping was at Mallum. Um, then the day after was a 15 miler from Mallum to Orton in Ribblesdale on the Pennine Way. Oh God, we were totally inexperienced. We were carrying like tents and stuff like Well, we had one tent between the three of us. And it was a two-man tent for three of us. Really cramped it were. It was a load of crap. It were, I think it was a Litchfield hoop tent from uh, Army and Navy store in Rochdale. Anyway, so we walked up to Malum, and, and Malum were just, what, what, a, what an eye-opener that was. If you, first time we'd ever been to Malum Cove, Gordale Scar, Janet's Foss, totally blew us away that. And the day after, like I said, we had this 15-miler 
to Arten in Ribblesdale, uh, which meant Fountains fell when he first ever 2,000 footer. And we first of the Dales 30. Uh, when we got to Arten in Ribblesdale, I th it, the weather was shite, pretty much. I'm trying to think, I don't think I've got a photo of myself on the top of Fountains fell from that trip. I've certainly got a picture of Lee and Jeremy. Might post it if I, if I can uh, dig it out amongst all my photo albums. Um, anyway, from Arten in Ribblesdale, Originally, we planned to do Wernside, finish up in Dentdale, then come sort of a back over Wernside, and then do Ingleborough. Anyway, we, we decided against that. We decided for our, our last day, we'd try and do Wernside and Ingleborough together. What we ended up doing, we just walked up the road from Orton and Ribblesdale to Ribblehead, climb Wernside, and the weight on our backs, God, it, I can remember it now, it was, it was horrendous. And, and they were great old fashioned rucksacks and straps were like piano wire, and like awful they were. <laughs> anyway, we, we lugged all that up Wernside. And then we were going to descend to Chapeldale, over Ingleborough, into Ingleton, where we, we were booted in at the youth hostel. Um, anyway, after Wernside, we, we got to Chapeldale and it just. Ingleborough rising up above us. It just looks like this fearsome mountain. And we just couldn't be arsed. We were too knackered. So we ended up walking all the way down the road into Ingleton where we uh, were, were that on my first night in a youth hostel as well. Nice hostel, Ingleton. I don't, I don't know if it still has one. Uh, and from there, the day after, I think we had about a four mile walk over at Fields to uh, Aya Bentham, where it was at a station there. And we, we got the train back to Leeds and then back to Rochdale and back to Milnra. So yeah, that, that, that trip um, set me on the road at, at, um, of the Dales 30 really. Right folks, just looking at my watch, it's 25 to 11 so I think it won't be long uh, before my bedtime. Just had a big cup of uh, decaf coffee with a big slug of whiskey in it so that'll hopefully send me off to sleep it's quite noisy and flappy still i've got my earplugs which i'll put in um but no nah, not not in these conditions i'm not expecting the best night's sleep but we'll see how we get on anyway right that's me done and dusted i'll see you in the morning good night Morning folks, as you can see outside it's pretty thick moor grime this morning. Um, I don't know what time it is, let me just have a look at my watch. Oh my god. There go. Come on watch. Uh, nearly 20 to 7. I had a reasonable night's sleep really considering the wind. I woke up, uh, I probably nodded off about quarter past 11. Woke up about half past 4 needing a wee. And then I've had another another couple of hours, so all things considered, on a on a windy windy night, not too bad. So from here, it's a really short walk back to the car. I think I just a couple of hundred yards back to the top, join the Pennine Way, and then down to the bottom, and then again another couple of hundred yards along the road to the car. So it'd be a, a very quick descent today. Um, but I'm going to make a brew, have a cereal bar. And then I'll, I'll get packing up and I'll speak to you again in a bit. So just here's the Pennine Way, I'm on the top of Fountains Fell and I'm just going to follow this right down to the valley bottom, dead straight forward. Well that's where I've come down from, it's a blooming gloomy looking place isn't it? And Penny Ghent over here, that's beheaded as well with low cloud. Right, back on road now that'll take us, take us to the car. Nice easy descent that, it's good that, I'll be back in car soon. Probably stop and get a sausage butter some right way home for my breakfast. So what can I say about that trip? Yeah, I enjoy it. 
near the curlew. Yeah, the curlews are back. Might not feel like spring, but there's been a few signs. I've heard the curlews. Seen a few lambs on way up on drive yesterday. Ringoozle, that's a spring harbinger, albeit a very early one. Yeah, I um I enjoyed that trip. Darnbrook fell were much better than I thought. Oh the curlews just flying in front of me there. Brilliant. Fantastic bird. Uh, yeah, Darnbrook Bell uh, fell were miles better than I thought. Uh, really enjoyed it. Bit of a boggy, weary slog to the top, but uh, yeah, when, I, when I'm feeling unfit like I am at the moment, that was a bit of a hard graft, but that was about it really. The camp was okay, I slept well, which is always a bonus. The weather's not great this morning, but it was forecast, it's done exactly as it said it would. That, that nagging east wind's not let up though cold wind now so it sucks any sort of warmth out of you cold direction this time of year anyway i'm uh, i'm waffling so all being well if it hadn't been nicked the car will be just up here so thanks for watching look after yourselves and i'll see you on the next one